Hello friends, this is Rayan. In this tutorial, you are going to see the complete configuration that you can done in the portlet level. Okay, so we are going back to a console. Okay, I have created a page. Okay, let me create a page. When close this, we'll go to Chrome. I have created a page called portlet config example to explain you better way okay so we will see through one of the most used portlets okay rest of the portlets you can just uh, look at it you can understand the what are the configuration you can change you can make changes okay block portlet i'm going to add a block portlet a message portlet wiki portlet and a calendar portlet we will see through the configurations uh, order configuration settings which is given in this portlet and uh, by law uh, and also the and the remaining other portlets configuration will be also more or less similar only okay so we will go to options okay so this is the portlet configuration we will first go to the look and feel this look and feel you can use a custom title for this suppose if you want it like calendar or events if you want to change it you can change if you want to this portlet to be linked to some page you can also make make a linkage also okay if you want the, to show the borders you can uh, you can set yes or no if i'm um, right now we will set no because by default it would be the border should be visible only okay you can also set the what type of font style it should be all the text inside it should be you can also set that you can either set whether it's a bold or italic you can also set a word spacing also you can also set a line height set a letter spacing you can also give size you can also give the color of the you can also uh, set the alignment of the text you can also give the color text decoration if you want to give some background color then you can give everything you can configure from in the administration levels you don't have to code anything for uh, for the portrait which is already given by the library okay and the next is uh, border styles uh, you can also set the border with since we have, we have hit the border we have given no option for the show borders so we can't see any border so we will skip this off you can you can just uh, see the settings next is the margin and padding you can also set the padding settings and the margin how where the position of the portlet should be uh, like uh, instead of uh, instead of the default position if you wanted to make any changes you can also set next is the advanced setting uh, here you can also write the custom css for that so that's all for the look and feel and then you see now the background got changed similarly if you make changes to the other font and everything it will also got changed instead of writing any code you can just make changes from this look and feel option itself next is the configuration so you can also set the time and date formal default configuration so this configuration will be uh, will be spe will be specific for each and every portlet okay so for uh, see if you can see in the for calendar portlet since we have changed the name to events you can find that uh, names has also got changed okay um, and this look and feel will be common for all the portlets okay uh, and this configuration will be specific for each and every portlet okay so if you go to configuration since it is a calendar portlet it will show the settings like time format default duration default view you can also change the default view to month and you can also set the time zone um, because since the time zone is should be set from the portal settings level you can change from portlet level okay um then you can give save okay you can also you, you can also uh, you can also set uh, the maximum items of uh, rss to be displayed rss content is dis displayed on the time interval everything you can set from the configuration okay next is the permission who needs to access control uh, who needs to add a page who needs to configure it who needs to view who has all these permissions and who who can edit the preferences all this can be done here the next is the sharing sharing is uh, um, 
you can also share this application on any other website you can you just need to copy this code and paste okay it's like embedding this portlet to other websites also okay so you don't have to install like phrase separately you can just uh, copy and paste this code in some other website in your own website uh, so that uh, the, this uh, this portlet will be running there so the next thing is facebook you can also get the api key from the facebook and you can just uh, uh, you can also add the apps to uh, from the from the to the facebook also as you can see the apps and uh, there will be many apps in the facebook you can now uh, add into that facebook apps also you can also share this application to the open social gadget and okay then the next is you can also share application in net vibes and you can also share application to uh, to your friends also suppose if there are any any other administrator who wants to use the application you can just uh, select them and uh, you can just save and the other users also can use your uh, user portlets okay then the next thing is so we have seen the configuration complete configuration for the calendar now we will see we'll minimize this then for the message board we'll see the configuration settings as you can see previously it was like date time settings and those things and all but in message boards there are different configuration settings the setup got completely changed here uh, you can also make anonymous post allow users to post anonymously you can also make them to subscribe to that user and you can also set the message format also whether it should be bb code or html format you can also enable flags you can also enable port lay enable ratings instead of uh, dragging and dropping that rating portlets and flag portlet you can just uh, tick here or it will be enabled inside the message portlet itself um thread should be only to be a question uh, so by default it is actually a general thread like whether it can be set as a question or not but if you want that uh, the poor people to post only questions you can just uh, click on this okay and the next is email from uh, you can also set that uh, email uh, email settings uh, to which the user get the reply from uh, for this particular portal letter okay you can also change the what type of format the next is message added by email this is actually like a general format how the message will get added okay message updated email uh, so if red got updated the user will get uh, updated email in thread priorities uh, mm, you can also set the priority uh, for each and every thread okay so if it is a uh, urgent then it is a priority 3 it will set a priority 3 if it is created an under urgent priority then that thread will be displayed at the first level okay and the next is a uh, user ranks you can also enable this like if the user has a uh, has posted a lot of uh, thread then his rank will be increased based on the number of thread he has posted so the social thing comes here the next is the rss here you can also set the enable rss subscription for this particular thread okay and the next is permissions who can access the thread and those things and all and the next is communication since the uh, each thread is uh, configured based on tags uh, you can also make the uh, thread to be configured based on category id or title so based on that you can make the uh, make the thread is searchable okay next is the sharing similar to the calendar you can also share in these various websites okay then the next thing is scope you can also set this uh, set this portlet uh, scope to only to this site or other sites also like if you are using uh, uh, suppose if you are uh, having another one site you can also you can, so you can give global so that uh, the other website also can use it that's all about the message board configuration next is the blog configuration the look and feel will be the same portal configuration textiles and everything okay suppose if you want to change the configuration you can change the portal configuration but from here like a uh, maximum items to display so since by default it will display all the blogs so if you want to set on display only five blogs you can display 
if you want to display it as an abstract or full content or title that also you can select abstract is nothing but the short content content will be displayed in short full content will be like a full content will be displayed and title is only the title should be displayed title of the blog should be displayed okay you can also you, you can also set a create a sample blog template based on that also the display and the data will be displayed you can also enable flags related assets related ra enable ratings enable comments comments ratings enable social frameworks you can also enable all these settings okay you can also you create a social bookmarks for twitter facebook and google plus okay and similarly from email from the author can be changed entry added email okay entry updated email also you can change so these are the variables uh, uh, provided by life itself it's on the current user or the user who has uh, is doing the update this variable will collect the user data from the database and uh, and it will be automatically sent to the author or the who who's our owning that blog you can also enable the rss and there is permission communication sharing and scope everything is similar to the before portlet okay you can just go through it okay guys so that's all the configuration uh, of the individual portlet is done for uh, you can also check with for other portlet so mostly the configuration will be the only option for it should be changing individual portlet rest look and feel option and everything will be the same hope you guys enjoy this tutorial do subscribe for more life rate videos see you in the next tutorial bye bye